T. Bridge now. That's a nice That's one. Two zero meters east, please. Thank you. Oh, this is one of them's going to jump, right? <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Give can us we, like can we go shake the tree? Moving on. <laughs> All right. All right, zoom arm out. coming up. <laughs> we're going to have to extend our dive just because we're watching for <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know. Every other watch is going to be like, so what did you accomplish? we got to give the people what they want. Well, then we show them the well, montage the and we'll be <laughs> like, yo. Meaning the front row, <laughs> front middle row. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> There's a thingy. Oh, uh, you want the other one, huh? There you go. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, is that a, is that like a, a star? One? Zoom in on that. Is that a star? It is a Gonia steroid sea star eating eating a bamboo. Oh, uh, we, we might be able to see it. Yeah, if that'd we, be cool. Uh, if you Pirouette yeah. to the right. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, this is my, here we go. Uh, Run <laughs> ship. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Silence when you're talking to me. Mm -hmm. Will you come wide, please? Just a little bit. That's good there. I just wanted to get a little bit closer. There, we can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, and you can see how bare it is below that. Mm -hmm. Is it just eating the polyps then? It it eats, so the tissue kind of extends around the skeleton too. It eats the polyps and the tissue around the skeleton. It'd be cool if you could see the actual averted stomach. Seems like such a balancing act for that big thing to be hanging on that. I know. It's also it looks like it's eating two branches at once. Oh, it's yeah. like Rah. greedy. I was just gonna say greedy. Well, I beat you to it. Could we zoom all <laughs> in? Is that all the in? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Man, oh my god. Shot down. Oh, Thanks, geez. Panos. Of course. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nom, Can nom, you in fact see that stuff? I think yeah. That you might zoom in there. You zoom in all yeah, the way if you like. Way. Oh, it is okay. Uh, can we that zoom might be out a little then? Bit of that. Um, I'm going to get closer, and then hopefully we can... Yeah, that'd be great. Can we turn the down lights on, please? Were you talking to them? Aisa, we couldn't hear you. If you yeah, want. I can't hear you, Aisa. Right, can we zoom in there? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, that, that was cool. What was that? that it was, was a, a Sasser Metro. <laughs> I can't let this go. Otherwise, it's going to fly away. You mind using the GUI and panning over? Oh, panning the over? Yeah. There we what go. What is the GUI? For the Graphic user interface? Graphic oh. user interface. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. So you can, I think, see the stomach averted a little bit. Okay, I might. I can move so a little bit more to the right. I think there aren't any polyps directly right where the stomach is. Any right uh, now. tube feet, you mean? Well, or polyps on the skeleton? On the yeah. Can you move in it? But yes. Okay. Slightly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, there's a, there's its goods. Oh yeah, look, it's oh, yeah. retracting oh. it again. Yeah. So Tell us straight that. Their cardiac. Mm -hmm stomach is what they can invert. They actually have also pyloric stomach, but the cardiac stomach is, it's right here, is averted around, I think, where there was tissue. Bridge. Now. And that was really cool to see it retract again. Oh, never mind. Okay, we can, we can zoom out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you just say never cool. minding? Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's Do you want to see this one, Paul? 
Nope. That's our, our rock. <laughs> Whoa. There it is. Oh. That's the one we just knocked Can into. we zoom in? Is that a flying crinoid? Yeah. yeah. That's the one we, that, that, that we bumped into. And we didn't bump that's it. That's an alien. That's an alien. <laughs> an alien. <laughs> <laughs> that is an alien. I'll enter oh, in my is log. Great. Um, is it appropriate brighter. to say that it's swimming? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, so beautiful. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh, now it's just gliding. Oh. Falling with style. Falling it's with like style. Like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> it's like those uh, leaves, the ones that spin. Yeah. Uh, they're seeds, actually, but yeah. Whoa, he's nice, close nice to the vehicle. Oh, wow, yeah. that's so cool. Oh, it's also huge. You guys are doing great staying with it. Uh, yeah. Nice um, piloting. You can zoom in there, Panos, if you like. We can't go this direction for, for much okay. longer. Just you can get a quick zoom, and then we can... What you can. Yeah, I don't know if the still caps will work Ooh. that great, but the video will be f awesome. Oh, nice. How much control does it have over which direction it's going? Look at those feet. It's going with the current. I don't know if it okay. has much much control. Okay. And it's kind uh, of in fall mode there. It's going to go in front there. of the, the oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Very cool. Okay, let's get back up there. So when we it lands somewhere, on. will it be able to move further, or does it have to kind of swim again to a different location? Um, it, it can't crawl with those. It can only kind of grab with okay. the underarms. Oh. So um, it would either fly again or... Did that get highlighted, Ashley? Yep. Awesome. Look at these flat rocks. The one on the side. It's like a. Looks like construction. The construction plates foundation. It's like on the right side. It. On the left, we just had, left. like it's literally on the left. I heard. Oh yeah. Like the, yeah. See, even in, in Atlanta, you can kind of see. Oh, like, and now like, we're like un. Is it looks a like big a bridge. Rock? It's There's like a wall on the left of her. Looks like a bridge in at Atlanta. Could we pan box? to look at that feature on the left? Yeah. Uh. Sorry, I got distracted by the cinema cam. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm Don't to worry focus um, here. about yeah. the cinema Oh, cam. sorry. Feature or cinema cam? Uh, Looks like you're very close to the rock. I am. Well, it's not that close. Really? Oh, yeah. It was that close. <laughs> Oh look, there's wow. a that's like a polyopagon growing on top of a tree to plant. Whoa! Oh, it's a little it's a polyopagon party. cluster. Yeah. It's like a little town, like Polyopagopolis. <laughs> <laughs> Polyopagopolis. <laughs> yep. Even this, the rock there is saying no, <laughs> right there. I was no. laughing. <laughs> this is a cool feature. Could um, in Atlanta you can see it's kind of like a big crack. I don't know oh, if there's yeah. a way for us to move forward and look at the crack. It's like the biology loves these gorges and spaces in them between the rocks. Yeah, it's like kind of fissures. <sighs> see if I can. Uh yeah, it seems like this face has a lot of polyopagons on it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah. It's a fissure. And there's like a boulder stuck in the crack. Oh yeah, there is. Oh yeah. Just below. Wow, that's cool. Can we zoom in? That's pretty deep. Wow, look how much Chrysogorgia there is in there. Watch out, there's a sponge right below you. Excuse me. It's a that's cool parade. parade. Yeah, yeah, it's a question mark. Okay, now it's... Yeah. Really pretty. Oh, oh yeah, like there. there's the Christ Grocery we're talking now about. We can, yeah, Very now cool. We can see. What is, didn't we see that same type of Christ Gorgia, the one on the right side at another site? Uh, it's not the Romula Gorgia. It's just different Christ Gorgia. It's, right. they look Delicate mostly looking. like uh, either Tricolis or a Bluto. 
That's cool, that rocket stuck there. Wow, mm -hmm. this is an awesome feature. And there's a lot uh, to the starboard side, oh, too. Wow. A lot more. Wow, and then look at all the sand and dead sponges that have accumulated in the bottom of that fissure. It's cool. Oh, uh, that one looks like an ear. Oh, there's some live, more live Tritoplora in there yeah. than anywhere else that we've seen. Oh, man, that's a big sponge that just fell right over. Yep. Yeah. Or I wonder if it got too heavy. There's a few. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Could we look at a at the wall further to the starboard side? Yeah. Just kind of crawl along it. Yep. Can we zoom out, please? Oh, there's quite a, quite a few sponges. Yeah, you can yeah. see them in Atalanta. Well. A lot of, yeah, sediment and dead sponge material there. It would be interesting to see this section of, because uh, we see that there is loads of sponge dead. Yeah. It's how this space is being occupied. And What? Yep. We have in the chat greetings from Paraguay. <laughs> from where? Paraguay from South America. We're, ah. we're seventh graders from the Del Sol score, school from Asuncion. Amazing. Cool. Asuncion. Yeah, wow. what does it feel like to be on a ship like oh, the Nautilus? Sure. Well, <laughs> it feels rocky. Yeah, even when we're up here, we're, we're like the ship is constantly what moving What am I looking around. for? Oh, thank but you, thank you, fun. seventh graders, for joining us. We're excited to see you. Not it's so been awesome. Not too rocky right now, Leela. No, Sorry, I didn't mean not to bad. stop you. No, yeah, I, I agree though. Rocky. I think we're all kind of feeling like now that it's coming towards the end, we're all like we don't want to leave. And if <laughs> we got another burst of energy, right? <laughs> yeah. James, we can move uh, eastward in the general direction. Just maybe. Um, facing towards the wall periodically as possible. Okay, yeah, ship is currently stopped if we want to take close looks at this. Um, um, I, no, we can keep moving. Sure. So okay. a lot of stuff. I'm gonna let stopped. Hercules get out front sure. before we put in another Yeah, move. sounds good. Oh, you know, I think I put that in as a colophagus. I wonder if it's something not colophagus, one of the Balosoma. new plectelidids. Oh, there is a squat lobster in the top. Oh, yeah. A lot of these squat lobsters on the dead tree to Plura. Yeah. It's a weird polyopagon. What? Or it's not a polyopagon. I don't know what that is. That's an interesting sponge. Let's see, the base is similar. Or maybe similar. it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. But but Probably. it's it doesn't it's like it doesn't have the outer layer all over everything. Wow, super dense. Very yeah, cool. I wonder how many squat lobsters are here. <laughs> A lot. <Lots. laughs> A lot of squat lobsters. If we estimate yeah. one per coral, coral <laughs> and it's probably more <laughs> than one. Now. Yeah, if there's anyone in the lounge, start doing squats. We have two zero <laughs> meters, <laughs> zero, four, five, up. please. I estimate there's probably nobody in the lounge right now. Look how the eerie that is with just no lights. Yeah, being that dark. That's a balosoma. Mm. It's a pig nose sponge. It's the ET sponge. Yeah, is that the Advena one? No. 
Um, yeah, it might be. Athena. It does kind of look like E.T. Okay, well, we're supposed to be going this way. We have another question from some students about when the Nautilus was built. Do you know the year? If we're all stretched out here um, and we're waiting. 1967. 1967. Ay, gracias. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. He made um, that up. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that. For sure. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Are, are we waiting here? Yes, yeah, we got a little bit of time. Could we pop a Niskin quick? Oh, yeah. Oh, those are so many different colors. Yep. We got to the colorful part. Oh. Did you, did you hear that, bud? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mission. Oh, right, work. Uh. Um, I'm going to take bubble. It's just interesting because it's really high in Christ of Origins. Yeah. I wonder if they're I'm all just prepping. different or... Are you racked in all the way? It doesn't, yep. look, like, it doesn't look like it. I well, I won't go in anymore, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. Coming up. Roger. Roger, Roger. It did it again. Did so, it no, I don't have the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Good test, good test. So, oh, God. Dang it, it did it again. <laughs> did do it again. Okay, well, same thing. Just shut it down and, um, and uh, reset the, the box. The uh, maybe. Hey, I'm going to try one more time. Hold on a second. It's quite lobster. That looks like almost metallic. Met yeah. But it might be tricolor. I think it's not actually as fun as Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that's fun. Make sure we write that down. I'm gonna do that right now. Here is it. Yeah, but it's not actually that. It's a bit more it's like the cluster bit. Oh let's um let's let's get this Niskin first, sorry. Huh? Let's if we can um oh, yeah. just, sorry you're letting it reset. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> I heard you mentioning Metallogorgia. Would you say I don't think it was Metallogorgia. Oh, okay. Um, Mostly. I mean, it's geniculata. It, geniculata, maybe tricolis. I would just say, like, include in Chrysogorgids, including CF, those two. Um, and then a, a lot of sponges, polyopagon, phoreids, balsoma. Do you think it would be nice to get another water? Another what? Water. That's what we're doing. Ah, okay. They're just resetting the arm. Valve's on. It is something looks like huge in the back. Bridge yeah. now. Can we have another two zero meters zero four five, please? Thank you. All right. Try it again. Coming on. Arm is on. Roger that. Go for it. Um, yeah, go for it. Just before you pull it, let me uh, get back to seafloor. Get down to... We'll do Niskin 3. Three and four? <laughs> Preferably just three. Hmm. Although it wasn't our aim, it is kind of interesting whenever you get two from the same site because, I mean, Steve was showing that even from the same site, the, the bottles can 
have slight variations. Ready? Okay. Yep, go for it. Awesome. Looks did you good. get it? Yeah. Did, oh. did that close? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I can see okay. three closed there, yeah. Oh, follow me. Oh, is four not closed? No. Okay, so we didn't end up... Oh, wait. We did, we did one and six two. And we did one and we two. Did one we one and two. two. Got it. Oh, we started from the front. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. The one time you want me to go to the front, and you forget that we went to the front. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back into position this way. Bye-bye, Rock. Sorry, James, there is something in the Triclops I'm going to try to highlight that it was quite a big feature I couldn't identify. Yeah, on the left, right there, yeah. Um, maybe straight. Is it good right it's there? It's straight. Yeah. Or do you want it more inboard? It's here. That's okay. Oh, they're, yeah, they're talking to each other. Bridge now. It's a huge... So we cancel this move and put in two zero meters east, please? Thank you. Awesome. Is it sponge growing on top of each other? No, that's just one sponge. Wow. Yeah. How's the, uh, how's it flying now? Better since we turned off the suction sampler. It's a heck of a cliff. Yeah, this is cool. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, I bet if we huge. round around that, we would see. Uh, is this another forehead? Like no. I need to remember what this is called. This, this is amazing. Okay, okay. so I'm like just going to have to pull here for a little bit. And then as soon bridge. as we're done this pirouette, we'll uh, oh, yeah. go oh. south. Uh, I can come here. down a little. Lofo calyx. Wow, full of squat lobsters. Some kind of resolid yeah. like we that. I can give you some tether. Where is it even growing from? It's is it dead or, or no, dying? dying? No, um, I don't know. They, it's a rosellid, and the I mean, yeah, the the some parts of it are not looking too hot, but the rosellids do also often have organic matter on the outside of them. That one's it's probably partially dying, but wow. Does it have a Such stalk? A cool clip. No. No. It just grows from the side, just like cascading ruffles. Interesting. <laughs> Can you zoom in, Panos? I don't know where the origin <laughs> of growth is. It's really beautiful. Do you see some threads on the other side, at the base? I don't know if that's what they're wow. called. Wow, so smooth looking. Yeah, this is another one of the crunchy looks like ones. Ice cream. <laughs> Everything <laughs> looks like ice cream to you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can and we come wide, please? Yeah, it looks like there are a lot around the corner, too. Yeah, it looks like there's some big ones over there. Wow, those are huge polyopicons. Oh, wow. Yeah, and chat saying there's some below. And then there's these little more chrysogorgian corals, I guess. They were growing all down the steep cliff face. Yeah. Wow, what is that drop off? Uh, yeah. That is cool. Try not to pull because there's a oh my there's goodness. a wrap. It's okay. Huge oh, wow. polyopagon. Look at how many. Um, oh, yeah. oh yeah, look at all the squat lobsters. lobsters in there. Wow. I can't go up that way anymore. Yep, I'm too far that's away. Okay. Wow, I could see nine from this view. Uh, come on. Uh, I can come down a little. No, no, you're good. Seven meters. You can zoom in there if you'd like. Yeah, but there's also nothing around me, so. Wow, so many squat lobsters. That's cool. <sighs> oh, we're at four, okay. Can you zoom out, please? All right, guys, I gotta go. That's okay. What, so, oh. okay. All right, I was gonna say, there's no chance that we could possibly collect that look of calyx. Uh, we don't need to. You want to collect one of those on the cliff? Nope. You just like to make it difficult? Whoa. What happened? What happened? We just What's going on? Was it the sonars briefly? Did you do that on purpose? No.
Yeah, if we wanted to stay here, we'd have to move the boat back and move it probably f a little bit north, but. Understood. Bye bye. It's a pretty cool feature though. Yeah. Um, so does it lower again here? How far off? Oh, Whoa. wow. There's <laughs> a big cliff feature. Well, that's a lot more exciting than it looks on the map. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, seriously. <laughs> So are we, is there a big wall to our right and to our left right now? So right and behind us. Right, yeah. right and behind us, okay. Like trying to get a grasp on the topography. I've actually got to go more right, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, um, I, I don't think the boat is moving over that. No, i got to come south, southeast. Very cool. Really cool. Do you want to try to keep skirting this edge? Um, can you explain? I'm very spatially turned around right now. Where is the edge? Like what along what line do it's you It's going, see I'm heading speed? east. I'm yeah. looking east. Yeah, I see you're looking east. And looking down the wall. And looking so down the wall. The wall. Runs in yeah, if we direction. can continue to skirt that, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, oh, now I see an Atalanta. Okay, that makes more sense. Do you do you want to move? Are we gonna try to move? Yeah, yeah we're gonna move the ship up. There we can see. Yeah, um, I'll put in a move zero four five. Okay. Yeah. Bridge now. Can we have two zero meters zero four five, please? And I don't know if it would be. I don't know how this continues, but if it would be possible to be a little lower down on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, just waiting for yeah, yeah, to be in a safer on yeah. the other side sure. of work. Yeah. Wow. It's cool. School. Looks like a shoe. Looks like a uh, looks like a croc. What, the polyavagon? Yeah. Looks like a croc. I'm struggling to see that. A, a croc sandal? A clog. I know what a croc is. <laughs> oh, that's a croc. <laughs> well, I didn't know you meant like a crocodile or something like that. It, which uh, it kind of does if you look for it. But <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see it. I can see the crocodile. Where's the croc? <laughs> Are we talking about the shoe? Yeah. The sandal. Apparently it's a sandal. <laughs> really cool sponge diversity here. Yeah, it's just We have polyopagon, tritopleura, phoreids, other uretids. His face has got lots on it. Whoa, oh my goodness. Whoa. Wow. It's kind of like cool features out in Utah where you're like traveling over flat desert and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, huge canyon that you didn't see coming, mm -hmm. except underwater. Can we zoom in? Oh, so those uh, little white-looking corals are the sponges that were oh, yeah. seen in the last ones. The um, let's see, I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah those are other Mixility sponges. Mixility, Stelodorix. Or also could it be Stelodorix. That's, That's what she Either, just said. Yeah, or Mixility. Well, I think it's the there, 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 the family genus. And ones, the yeah. Genus, yeah. Just sometimes they pronounce this to yeah. the name. Yeah, you're good. The sporals. 
which is the bridge now. better way of saying it, I think. Sponge corals, corals. Can we have another one zero meters, zero four five, please? Thank you. Well, can you zoom out, please? And then the the chrysogorgids themselves, I, you know, I don't know. They're not like particularly bushy, but again, maybe either chrysias or stiletto. Mm -hmm. These polyopagons, it's just incredible that it's like kind of leaning over this edge and that it can be supported, that whole organism. Are they heavy? Like, the, does it float? Like, I was just thinking about that. I mean, is it buoyant, and it's the threads are holding it down, or is it? Um, Can we take a sample. We took a sample. It was these. really They're pretty floaty. Yeah, they are yeah. like very neutral. I imagine it's not actually that heavy underwater. Although when you pick it up and you take it out of water, the I don't know the wet weight is a lot. Right. Zoom in, Panos. Must be so many things living in there. The Semperella sponges we collected on the last dive that have kind of a similar texture to this. They had all kinds of hydroid tubes sticking out of them and polychaetes that were lodged inside. So, so much more than we could see right yeah, now. Yeah, huh? there's a ton of life Definitely. all throughout that sponge. And sponges are also, especially deep sea sponges, are notorious for um, having uh, black bacterial symbionts, all kinds of microbes that live <coughs> inside them and um, help them in with various tasks from uh, waste processing to... Um, uh, like, you know, their, their nutrients, gaining the nutrients that they need. So, uh, and that, that's why deep sea sponges have been kind of a target for uh, biopharmaceutical and biotechnological prospecting for new compounds that could be synthesized and uh, commercially useful, but kind of just cool to look at these and think about all the different things living inside them, both microscopic and larger. It's really pretty. Can we come wide, please? It's a cool <laughs> Atalanta <laughs> shot. I'm getting There's another one of those larger sponges below it that we just saw on the other ridge. Yeah. There's also pictures in the The Lofa. Lofa calyx. Lofa calyx. Um, we have a question in the chat about the temperature. Does anybody yeah. know what yeah. the temperature of the water is right now? Probably around minus two. Let's look. I can tell you. Two, or sorry, not minus two, two. Like two degrees? Um, it's CTD two degrees. on there somewhere. Yep, it's 2.2. Around two. Mm -hmm. it stays pretty consistent around that when we're at Bridge these depths. Now. Can we have two zero meters, zero six zero, please? All right. Thank you. We have another question about how deep we are. So we're at 2,012 meters right now. Ah! Wow. Are those lighter? Oh no, those are probably more of the sponges again. The love the calyx. Another sponge dive. Yeah. Sounds like a theme for here. this watch. Is there anything there? Mm -hmm. Is there sponges? Uh, yeah, it looks kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Zoom in, Panos. Go mm -hmm. ahead. You can do both. Oh, no. Run away. What is that? Is that a tunicate? It looks like that. Um, what we sampled on the last dive at the very end. Do you want to come it's up and cool Atlanta a little shot. bit? Wow. Can you? Oh, yeah. It's very cool. 
I want to say a clamshell, but that yeah. that's not right. Is that uh, all the zoom we got there? Oh, yeah. Like a I think, I think it's same. a tunicate, yeah. That's good. Thank you. Zoom out. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. So does this feature kind of there end? There you go. That's it. We're getting it. It's beautiful. There's another one. Let's zoom this in. This urchin there. Ooh, p purple urchin. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's it. I'm like <laughs> clicking back and forth between the Atalanta and the Hercules camera yeah. right now. Yeah, the yeah, Atalanta camera right now is amazing. It is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm risking it all. I'm risking it all. <laughs> I'm risking it all. <laughs> I got to get the foggy. shots. So look at how small Swimmer. that sponge actually is next to that urchin. Like It's a big urchin, but those I'm sponges like, uh, are also Girls a lot smaller camera than we thought. <laughs> so you all were calling them squirrels. Are they sponges or corals? Sponges. Oh, cool. So probably is about Come five on. centimeters, this small one. And this is an interesting one coming up, too. Mm -hmm. I need to zoom out. And guess who's there? Look at that squat on the... It is a it's a big guy. This is very cool, cool feature. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot bigger than some of the other ones we've seen. I want to zoom in. I feel like Paola Ooh. just sat up in her bed. Ooh, it's like <laughs> yeah. a speeder. It's like a speeder. <laughs> I think that's the kind that they collected close to the woodfall. It looks quite similar. But oh, I'm, I'm not the expert, obviously. Nice zoom. Can we zoom out, please? Oh, is this peak on the, is it really on the yeah, bathymetry, is this it? this isn't really, yeah, this isn't where the bathymetry shows the peak. Interesting, okay. Interesting. What's so the resolution okay. of the bathymetry? Uh, good question. Let's see, it's probably 60 meters. I wonder what this steep face that we're supposed to approach in a while looks like. Bridge now. Can we have two zero meters east, please? Thank you. Um, not related, but speaking of exploring new frontiers, um, India landed a lunar lander and rover on the moon today. Wow, Huzzah. that's neat. I didn't see that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it just and happened, right? it just happened, and it's in the southern polar region of the moon, which has never been visited before. So, pretty monumental That'll achievement. Be exciting really to see. cool. Yeah. So unmanned rovers, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, yeah. These are cool sponges. Man. Wow, wow there's so many. Everywhere. Oh my gosh, it goes down so deep for so long. I'm just, um, I want to stay on the same side yeah. of this feature as yeah. Atlanta, so I'm just going to come out and turn around. Sure. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Little, little twirl. Little pirouette. This one looks a bit different. I mean, this is such a huge mass on the right there of sponge. It does look a little different. Yeah, it's not quite as stacked as the. Um, wow, as look at that. Remind me, you know, the mushrooms that 
grows. Yeah, yeah, the ones on the trees that kind of yeah. grow out. I was thinking the same thing. Or are those lichens? It's mushrooms. The lichens as well, but there is mushrooms that does that. I think a no, like turkey tail. Yeah, like shelf, different shelf mushrooms. And this is usually where we'd be seeing that bluey Ramul Gorgia militaris, and we're not seeing that, so it's kind of interesting. Oh, look this. Look Could we zoom on some of the Chrysogorgids in front of us on this wall? Yeah. Boy, look at little guy. It's interesting. Well, another tunic hit there? Oh, no, a sponge. Mm. Squat lobster. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Um, would it be, um, is this a spot where it'd be possible to slurp any of these chrysogorges? Uh, possibly, um, but you gotta give us a second yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is he still, is he holding position now? Can we zoom out, Panos? Is he going so east? Beautiful. Okay, because it drops off there. Like, that's gonna take Atlanta that way. This is a, that's a really cool thing. Look, the triclops view is just... Wow, yeah. Yeah. It's not a regadrella. Okay. All right, I think that maybe we just wait a little bit. You want to... I think we're going to be okay. I was almost at the bottom of the feature when we were looking oh, at that. Regadrella. Oh, wow, well, these spe sponges are amazing. Sure. Since since uh, since we we're going to wait a little, you want to do a flip around because we've got a wrap. We can keep it at 0.5. Um, or just remember that when you want to go, you got to turn uh, turn to starboard. Yeah. Turn to starboard. Even so though we're only a half wrap out of um, out of uh, our operating. Yeah, yeah. Envelope. So, and that's just because I pirouetted around to look at the cliff face. Okay, you wanted to slurp something. If it were possible to slurp one of the Chrysogorgids that's on that um, base. Okay. This is actually, these are interesting sponges too. So many spot lobsters. Wow, the shape of this one. It's like a cornucopia uh, or something. Where do we stand ship move wise right now, Lynette? We are not moving right okay, now. Okay, great. We're just waiting on the swing. Okay. Yeah, waiting for awesome. swing. Any of these? Yeah, any of those on the wall. If there's a squat lobster in it, bonus points. Mm -hmm. Or ding, ding, ding. one off the wall. Looks like there's a tiny Asaka sack of calyx sponge. Gorgia. Oh, they are okay. Usually, Remulogorgia has that like blue color, but yeah, they, from the other day they looked a little different. I think we want to do this somewhat quickly. Yeah. Slurp four should be fine. All right, what happened? Can you, uh, you want to have take yeah. that, please? I see one with a squat. Can I you circle do? it? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you see it? Like, what number? Kind of the top. Up oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, oh, there. there. Four, she said. Yes, four, please. Uh, three, four. All right. You want to try to do it or you want to do it? Uh, I can't sit here, man. We're... Copy. And yeah, we're eight meters off the seafloor. We just hold it out and we can. Uh, and if we could, um, before collecting, try and look for one with a squat. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, uh, come on. Hey, uh, go down a bit. Oh, 
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, huh. wow. Yeah, that is I, some amazing flying. Oh. I didn't slip it. I know. I, I did. Oh. I turned it on. Oh, wow. That was, uh, oh, no, was nice. That was we, just, we have to go. Like, we don't have time. I mean, Sorry, Mikey. Wait. Well, that's fine. Uh, it still is, is in it because the, the ship is swinging? It's still in the ship. Yeah, and Adelante is swinging out ahead of us. And if we don't want it okay. to swing back, and then we have to wait for 20 minutes to let it settle. Yep. That was good. Sorry, I should have let you um, know, know what yeah, I was doing. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. I just, so just a heads up here, and I'd... Last minute decision. If you could fill me in on what would be necessary if we wanted to do this. These sponges are also something I'm interested in collecting. If, if they may... Do they continue? They may, I, I can't grasp where we're... What we the might be able to sit on top of this and, and grab one off the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can you keep the suction going? I don't see him in the jar. I think there was a bit of coral still stuck in the front of the slurp as well. Yeah, it looks like it's resting on the porch right now. Yeah. I'm bringing that back down to 40. What? What's going on? You just turned it off. But if we want to sample sponges from that site, we're going to have to bring the ship back. Okay, we'll pass on it. Okay, okay I'm going to I'm gonna there was grab the slurp and then kind of stretch it. Is that cool? Um, Not right now. Yes, you can do that. There is one small get, piece right here. in front of the slurp. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Where's that squall lobster? Yeah, that's weird. It went up. I watched it, it go up the tube. definitely went up the tube. Clinging for dear life somewhere Okay, well, inside. let's just ramp it up. Let's yeah. see. 80%, 100%. Do you want to try to get this coral off the porch or no? No, that's. I think it's a hydroid actually. It's not the coral that we okay. meant to collect. Oh. Sorry. Oh, it's no, okay. It's oh, right. there it is. I think. I, I think just I saw, saw something. It. Yeah, let's turn if it off. If you turn it off, it might sink. There is something. Uh, a little bit of coral. That's not it. He definitely went up the it tube. It did go up the hose. I uh, keep cranking. Do you want to go back and try to get a different um, um, type of coral? No, it's not worth moving it all back for. Why isn't that not? It might be caught in the S. Yeah, but it's not even moving, right? It's not even twitching. I don't know. If Zero. Oh, yeah, you don't. 40% is where suction starts. You can see it. It, no, I don't know. There's stuff like uh, going because whatever was there is, is 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 circulating. You're right. So I'll try to. If you I don't want. know if like a hose stretch. Yeah. All right, I gotta get going. It's okay. Oh well. We can't win them all. It's in there. Somewhere. <laughs> am, I, am I up? Okay. I guess just note that it's probably in the hose. So none of, are we still swinging now? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm, gonna turn off, what? I'm gonna turn off the suction. Yeah. There's a piece, there may be a piece of a previous sample stuck in the suction hose. 
Uh, really? Yeah, that's yeah. what I said earlier. Uh, huh. Sorry, I should have mentioned What, I what is seen it? That. Um, a white sponge with a crinoid. Oh. A pyloderma one. Trim. Well. All right, so maybe we shouldn't do any more slurps then. Yeah. Sorry about I that. Would maybe I underline I that didn't, on didn't the Herc note. Make that more apparent to next watch. 13 meters I think Mark, up. You probably mentioned okay. it, but I missed it. Is that the hydroid floating off? Yeah. We got something in there too. Oh, Those are really cool sponges. Buy cool sponges. Um. Yeah, that's some really cool stuff here. I'm gonna power down. Eight meters to the bottom of this. But oh, maybe not, maybe more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm looking through some of that. Oh. Wow. That's a big guy. The diversity of sponges That's is wild. stunning, really. We have a question in the chat about whether or not we've missed any tunicates, or or the fan was looking for tunicates. Have we seen any on this dive so far? Yeah, we saw one just at the top of there. There was a predatory tunicate. Is that small round sponge in front of the calif uh, in front of the polyopagon? Is that another hyalinema? Mm, that one looks kind of elongated. I don't know if that's like a small polyopagon. Doesn't really have the same. Yeah, looks like polyopagon. Okay, I don't think we're really me. swinging anymore. If you want to try to get. Thank you. Um, sort of in front of Atalanta, we can sort of crab they over. Look like little sure, yeah, together. I just uh, I want to follow this feature down. Mm -hmm. If I go straight there, we'll be looking at blue water. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, hopefully that just we'll see the bottom of this yeah. crevice soon, and then I'll, I'll find our happy spot to come back up the cliff. Mm -hmm. Do we know what it looks like behind us? Yeah, no. maybe a second. I think it looks like blue water behind us. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it ends, huh? Uh, kinda. I don't have a lot of visual range. Huh, it might continue. Yeah, it might. It looks like it kind of does. Like this is just like a little bridge. Yeah, wow. Oh, this is a bridge. Such yeah. an interesting. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, it's a total an archway. That would wow. be really cool. Like it is. It's going to be such a boring part of the dive, <laughs> and it's so nice. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's, uh, it's not an archway. pull through. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be amazing? No, it's not. Man, can't get me all not excited. Can't get that. Still cool. Very cool. I'll get all this. Stuff and things. Yeah, so this is, is this where you were thinking you want to try to be on the north side? Um, it was actually up between three and four. Okay. Which is pillar. Jane, we have a really nice sweet long message in the chat for you. <laughs> says, I bet I know who it's from. I'll read part of it. It just says, congratulations to you and all of your colleagues for an incredible expedition. Uh, we've been glued to the computers watching the incredible sights. Aww. And they believe that you inspired the New York Times article <laughs> about the flight of coral in Florida. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, Crap. I'm going to assume that's Wally and Marty. So yeah. thank you, Wally and Marty. It does say Marty and I have been glued to the computer. Um, I kind of want to do it right now. What? What's yeah. that? I, mean, I got flipped around. 
and I. Oh, you got a wrap. Oh yeah, your six eight wraps are okay. At point one. No. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, but I meant um. Oh, the the craft, the craft fingers. Oh, that's. Yeah, but just okay. that, just sorry. I'm just saying Let's it. Just remember so, it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, shall we step east? Step in east. I'm crabbing that way. Yeah. Bridge now. Can we have two zero meters east, please? Thank you. What a weird feature. Okay, let's look. I should have took the stick today. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Nothing. I was like, oh man, I should have taken the stick today. If you to, want. To mm -hmm. Oh no, I've never flown in a feature like this. Me neither. Lots of dead sponge a material. Of, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you're, about to, you're about to Very going steep down. between. They're like pillars. Very like straight vertical pillars. Going yeah. up towards three. It's so cool if they were like. Mm. Yeah, let's yeah. let's so try to not be too stretched out <laughs> here. Yeah. No, definitely I'm not. I want to keep that in Oh, where, where are we? We're here. Vehicle. Actually, that's not true. Endeavors like this. Have you been doing it to Endeavor? Yeah, that's where the, the vents are. Yeah. yeah, the features, rock features look similar to this. Hmm. And then you've got superheated water coming out of it. So yeah, cool. it sounds yeah. very stressful to fly. It in. is, yeah, and then like, it's not just... And it's 12 hour shifts too, right? Yeah. Oh, that's probably why they had the section on. What? Because of the thing that was stuck. Um, they were just hoping on. it was gonna come Hopefully on. it would just go through, that's very forever. possible. Um, I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't told that. So when things, when samples are stuck in the hose, we have a question in the chat. Do we need to detach the hose to get yeah. it, or how do we, uh, how do we recover? Sometimes we just do our best to flush it out. Um, I don't think I've have a, I've had to take off the hose or disconnect it or do anything like that to take anything out. It uh, it should be easy theor easier theoretically because. The configuration of the hose is different from what it was before. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. No. We have had to do it in the past, um, uh, but it's usually. But that was also when, it, when, when, when the hose went down underneath the herc, and then like back a couple of times, and then up. You know. It went like three hearth lengths before it even got to the... Right, yeah, I hear you. No, we had to take it off. We had a... We, they tried to get a little octopus, and uh, he grabbed on. <laughs> he wouldn't, he wouldn't um, let go. As we... I'd like to keep an eye out for a spot where we would feel comfortable sampling that kind of sponge if that arises. Just let me know. Okay. Hopefully we'll get one at the top. Yeah. These things look like we're looking bait right, like straight down. Yes, it's a complete, it's a sheer cliff. Yeah, but they're not like, it's not like they're growing up or they have right. any, it's like they're straight. They're facing straight out, they're perpendicular to the sheer cliff. Yeah. yeah it's pretty impressive. Come on. Wow. Could we pan left just a little? Yeah. Like, look at that. That was craziness. Okay, um. We get the interesting stuff, but not like the groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> Bridge now. I think this is pretty, pretty cool. It looks like broken ground cool. to me. And, and Waka, we have one Waka. Zero see what zero I did there? Four, five, I see what please. you did there. And we are about to be getting towards a very Thank steep you. wall soon if this wasn't steep enough. If you can give it to the front. So what I really want here is for Atalanta to be behind you in deeper water and we move along together instead of stretched out like yeah. this. I can't oh. pull it there though. We got we'd have to move the boat due north. Well, we are moving it 045 now. 
I thinking. just don't want it like this. I hear you, the but there's clip. nothing high in between us. So like we can wait here until the boat comes back. He's also 40, 30, 35 feet above me. So I'm really not worried about it. We can sit here until we get into that happy spot. Thank you. Okay. Sure, yeah. thank you. I agree with you, I, I, that's where I want it to. Is that is that preferred orientation going up the, the next slope too? Because this is it, I think. After we get over this, I think we're downhill until we get to that next cliff up to waypoint. Is that five? Three. Three. Oh, this is three. Three. So like we could just go and and, and leave all this, but um, they want a sample of that certain type of sponge. Do we have any sponges in the forward bio box? We do. We have one in Lambda. Okay. We could put it in Omega, though. Yeah. Although Omega is quite full as well. It's got that woodfall piece, which is quite large. Hmm. And that woodfall could also have a lot of associates that could get confused with the sponge, potentially. Yeah, I think the sponge would be discernible. If the sponge would even let us sample it, it's very brittle. How can you tell that? Uh, just because we've collected sponges like this before, in this group before, and they're kind of like, they feel more similar to the uretid. Brittle sponges. Oh, is that a um, brisingid or a um, Yeah, it does look like a big brisingid. Bridge nav. Can we have two zero meters east, please? Thank you. That looks really cool. I didn't recognize any of the sponges that you wanted at the top. Um, um, at the top was pretty much all that sponge. I thought it was that clearer. Yeah, like um, this is all that. Uh, okay, I thought you wanted one of any of that. Okay, sorry, I thought you wanted one of those. Is that the same one? I think I think they're all yep the okay, same. Okay, let's sit on top and then hopefully we can reach down and grab some. I've never seen so many squat lobsters. I know, and I'm thinking, I'm like, we can't even sample them because the, they're just going to run away and we have no and slurp. Because of the slurp. Oh, the slurps don't work. No. Yeah. It's too bad. For what? Look, <coughs> look at this image. Can you turn the down lights on, please? Yeah, I got uh, Okay, I'm going to sit up here. Is that the same stuff on the right? Yep. Okay. Such a narrow top. Yeah. This isn't sit. even the part of this dive that was knife edge predicted. Like, this that's all further up. Different from the Lophocalyx, but must be something like that, according to our shore scientist. Yeah. I don't know, pos possible Rosellid. All right, is it gonna is it gonna live here? Is she happy? That's a no. Okay, you can uh, take the arm out. See if you can reach that that one with the squat lobster on it. Remember to get the. It's settled. I just I'm gonna have to hold it. Oh, no, no, no! You go for it. I'm gonna have to. I have to hold it. Oh, it's okay. Just make sure you got the knife on the right side, on the correct side. 
There you go, bud. Uh, just behind the jaw, there's a little squat lobster under the finger. Try to grab the top of that bulb. I think you can reach it. Sorry, I totally thought I was muted when I was eating chocolate. Yeah, that one. Oh. Very brittle, huh? Yeah. Like, I don't even know that we're going to be able to grab it without the slurp, but worth a try. We can go for a bigger chunk and hope some comes with. Just grab the base or let's slow down as you can see. Do we want to bring Delta up a hair? I feel like that squat lobster's thinking if I stay really still. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they won't see me. I'm not here. Ah, nice. That, nice. That yeah, okay, be gentle with it. Hopefully it won't break. We can go for lambda. Oh, excuse me, oh, omega. omega. All racking in. Oh, yeah. Is that 181? One? 180. Oh, um, actually, the kind of sponge in the left is the is the demo sponge, right? Yep. Okay. Um, it could, it can go in lambda two if that's easier. Are we not counting the slurp oh. that we did? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. A little bit up. A little bit up. We should count yeah, the slurp. No, wait, that was one seventy. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I double check here. Camera. I have squat lobster. I think your yeah, arm's in the right orientation if you just continue right. with that slew one, move one, you were doing. One. My mistake. The it's shoulder azimuth, yeah. There you go. Yep, one eight one. Okay, thank you. you. Might need to go oh yeah, you gotta I go was higher. At the previous right. page. It's okay, uh, you still have plenty on the jaws. You were close, but that's okay. It's a, still a great sample. I think it might be on the porch actually. So let's get this in and then we can Ah. Let's see what we can do. Oh uh, yeah, you have to put her right in there. It does look like the fragments are falling down in. You got an index? Looking at it closer yeah, here, the, uh, it almost looks more uretid to me. The lowest joint. So this one. So I, I would put in the description. That so you could do, um, if you, the easiest way, at least Rizalid I find the easiest way, it. is to line up the arm kind of the way, the master, the way the slave is, and then um, just try to actuate that one. Jo it's hard because you gotta you got to hold all other seven functions while you do it. There you go. That's the right movement. Get it down. You got it. I said you can do lambda or omega as well if that's where it ends up. You're doing good, nice and slow. Uh, the larger chunk of it is sitting nicely on the porch, so. Yeah, so your your shoulders all the way up, yeah.
Yep, the lowest pit. Yeah, there you go. I don't remember if, it, if that's the pitch or the yaw, but. Nope. There you nice. go, yeah. Okay, Yay. here, let's close that. Work. Ah, fantastic, thank you. That's great, and we don't need to stress too much about the larger portion, that's that's big enough for us. It's, I thought, yeah. Sure, yeah. If you, uh... Okay, bring up the box, please. Ah, too bad. Well, that's good. You still that's got more great. in there. No. That's great. Oh, no. You brittle, you weren't kidding. It just, like... <laughs> nice. All right. Sweet. Ah, that's let's, too bad. Let's call it at that. No, that's great. <laughs> Those are hard to collect. Oh, it's really, the whole thing was gonna, here we go. No, uh, it's fine, James, it's <laughs> fine. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. all right, <laughs> fine. Sorry, I am stubborn. <laughs> Lynette's like, no. Slightly perfectionistic. <laughs> uh, can you close, yeah, there you go. Nice job. Uh, per perfect, thanks so much. Oh, it's just like right there. <laughs> He's like, I just want to pick it up. Bye-bye, <laughs> Rock. Maybe it'll live there. And what if it could just get stuck and comes all the way up? Wow, this just continues to be more exciting. <laughs> I want to know more about what formed this. Crazy. Oh, wow. And if this is the saddle, what is waypoint three? Or the path there? Bridge Sorry, down. let's get this set up. Can you turn down the or turn off the down lights? Can I have one zero meters zero four five, please? There's another. Thank you. Oh man, struggling today. Oh. Shrimp? Maybe? No. No. Not a soldier. You can listen to my beautiful singing voice, it's all right. <laughs> You're an SBO, <laughs> like you're embarrassed for me, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Huge polyabagons. I can't hear you. Oh, it's just me, I'm not... Is possible for me to get in the dry flops? Yeah, oh, there. Yeah, there you go. Want to zoom in a little bit? Zoom, zoom. Let's see what, does anything live in here? Yeah. I feel like there's a... Usually are things there. There's a squat lobster, the base. Oh, yeah. If we could get a tight zoom on the squat lobster as we pass by, that'd be great. Oh, wow. Bridge oh, yeah. nav. 
One zero meters east, please. Thank you. They're so cute. Well. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it cute. <laughs> well, I don't know if it would call you cute. That's probably <laughs> true. Huh. <laughs> All right, can we zoom out, please? I'm not on SPL. I was going to say I didn't hear that one. Yeah, what? Yeah, I said that we got squat lobster advocacy. <laughs> Oh, there's some more sponges in the distance. Yeah. I think it's just going to keep going. <laughs> I just keep I, going. I don't think we'll be want, do, 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 wanting for sponges. So it seems like we are down to our starboard bio box as far as collections go, because now our forward bio box has a floaty sponge, uh, and our slurp is clogged. FYI. I don't think that, that that sponge is actually so floaty. I think you don't think it, so? No, I think we're still okay to put things in both of those. It's just going to get start getting confusing soon. Uh, yeah, I, we can't put any more sponges I, in there. I anyway. think it's more yeah. wafty than floaty. Ah, so wafty. you just got to be, don't be wafting the... Uh, don't, don't waft the forward bio box. Yeah. <laughs> we make sure that we're not pulling the tether over that peak. It's okay, he's above everything. Okay. It's not good. Yeah. That, that, the feature coming up in front of us on the radar is what I'm looking at. Okay. Big Brazinja maybe down there. Can you zoom in? Looks like it has a million arms. That's two, it's one, multiple, yeah. two percentages. We'll get closer in a bit. I just, uh, okay. a little stretched out. Uh, yeah, it would be really cool. A giant oyster for some reason. A <laughs> giant <laughs> oyster. It would be so out of place. For like food? <laughs> The size of that spot. I, I would, I would demand we use the five arm to take it out. <laughs> Just like chat says, finding out for the first time what a squat lobster is today. I think it's my new favorite seed creature. Nice. Oh, Good wow, luck with the sponges, and I would look forward to seeing what else you find. Well, Paul will be yeah, so happy to hear <laughs> that. We need to let Paul we zoom in. Knows, yeah. We happen to have one of the top squat lobster taxonomists on board right now, and she has been giving everybody a new appreciation for the for the creature. Self-proclaimed squat lobster master. I think I think her like hundred plus species descriptions <laughs> maybe <laughs> proclaim that. <laughs> okay. Is that a parade that it's on? It looks like. Or a Tritoplura. Mm. And probably she have a, a cup of... No, she's going to have like 20 new ones from this <laughs> cruise. Yeah, gosh. She's got her work cut out for her. Can we zoom out? Um, yes, I'm okay with that. That's upslope, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know what? That's east. Maybe we should take him northeast and keep him on the same side of this as us. What do you think? Sounds kind of like trying to bring him up here. Or do you want me to come south? 
this just this ridge has been really nice for biodiversity and yeah we don't have to hit waypoint three straight on but i don't know also how this continues okay i'm curious what else is in that other side of the ridge that we're not even seeing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Well, we're huh? getting close to that hour. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah. One more minute, we could talk about food. <sighs> what? It's only 3 o'clock. Almost 3.30. We pushed the roll back. Oh, this has been a very slow shift. <laughs> very <laughs> slow, despite how cool it is? Yeah, what are you talking I've about? I've got a wicked headache. I'm dying. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, time out. Pause <laughs> the sea life. Everyone. You're almost there. Yeah, it's okay. Pull over so we can take a break. Massage the temples. You heard her, Mike. Change. <laughs> <laughs> Change the ear. Fanny with the a leaf. <laughs> oh yeah, switch. Oh, flip. Flip the idea. sides. It's a good mid, mid watch thing. Oh, I have another piece of chocolate over here. Ooh. Notice how that allows you to drain, drown uh, Michael out more. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Actually, that does feel better. <laughs> I think every hour I switch the ear because it just hurts. <laughs> yeah, same. You have really strong ears by the end of it. Yeah. But the good news is that after our shift, we don't have to process samples. That's true. Not, not right now. Here. Just yeah. tomorrow when we wake up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a really cool sample session, it is. I think. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to see the whale fall specimens. The wood fall, yeah. Wood fall, excuse me. Interesting. I'm just going to wait for Adeline to yeah, catch us before I can get up there. I've been saying the wrong words for everything and lately. And what's this here? Looks like it's, it's a massive we dead sponge. Zero, yeah. zero, seven, zero, please. Thank you. Would you guys go for a hot tub or a spawn or a sauna right now? A hot tub, one thousand. <laughs> one percent. than the other. <laughs> no particular order. I don't know. I'm feeling like sauna. <laughs> I think sauna. Oh my gosh, sauna oh, would just sauna. dehydrate me. I'm so. I just need water <laughs> right now. Sauna. There's, a, there's, a, there's a Canadian. The <laughs> there's a Canadian Coast Guard vessel called the John P. Tully, and they have a sauna on board, and nice. it is phenomenal. That's awesome. Tuggy tug. I felt it. And up until recently, you could buy beer at the commissary. Not bad. Or a bottle of wine. Beer in the Stick. hot tub would be amazing. <laughs> Bone. What? Stock. Ooh, Stock. Fal Falcor had a sauna, according to Steve. <laughs> Sorry, we're not as cool as Falcor, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Falcor one, excuse me. I thought yeah, Falcor, Falcor. I thought he said Falcor. I had a sauna, but he meant Falcor, Falcor one. Falcor one, yeah. With Sebastian. I don't know. No, chat's asking if hot springs are an option. I mean. Oh, that would be that would be the best in our fairy tale land of make believe yeah, here. Hydrothermal yeah. vent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like getting in a, like a hot tub for a while, for like a good twenty minutes, and then jump in the pool. Yeah, switching between those two is nice. We have a hot tub at my house. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ooh, ooh, party. And it's gonna Let's be fall-like weather, right? Yeah, a touch of fall is what the forecast said for my home. Yeah, home city. Yeah, I, I got a hurricane. It's keyword for cold. <laughs> it's keyword for like 60 degrees as opposed to 90 degrees. Which which is nice, actually. I feel like right. usually yeah. prefer that. recently it's been staying super warm for like October. So many squats. <laughs> Must feel like a very big home. <laughs> that squad lobster lives in a, is in a sponge mansion. Yeah, it's like living on acreage. No one else sure. can live here. This is yeah. my home. Has his hot tub and sauna Bridge. tucked away <laughs> somewhere in there. 
the hot springs around the corner. Zero, seven, zero, please. <laughs> Thank you. Tiny, I, tiny little sponge. I do feel like they like just decide not to move. I'm just gonna sit here. Hopefully these green it's lasers because will he's go blinded away. by the light. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come wide, please. You didn't do it right. What? Huh? You didn't do it right. Do what? That's why no one gave you a reaction. <laughs> well, you just can't say the next line on on yeah. role model appropriate <laughs> language. Wrapped up in a so sponge. So we all stopped. It's so funny. Somebody just shouted, "We need a portable hot tub," and then I started thinking about like uh, plugging that in somewhere. If only there was a hot tub like thing on board i know if only we had used it a single time this whole cruise <laughs> yeah. 30 days and, and g given like the the, 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 the tropical area i don't even want it to be hot i want you don't need it to be warm it, it, we wanted to tap it yeah wait what's the surface temp in <laughs> no, it's probably, probably it's 70, 25 degrees that sounds lovely so why haven't we broken that out because I know our watch call. cannot initiate because we're always like busy we wake up and we go straight on watch and by the time it's 4 p.m it's too late this is an earlier watch in the day must must think about this and make it happen prior to our awakening <laughs> <laughs> wow that was uh <laughs> you given have you so thought this through <laughs> yes i've no, thought about it all and you were you've been trying to file complaints <laughs> could we was? not we need a suggestion box hey look at this tree to plural that's like growing through polyopagon yeah. or Oh, that's crazy. Which one was there first? It looks like it partly broken. Yeah, I don't know if the polyopagon's trying to grow around it you secondarily. Zoom in there? You turn the down lights on? Also, these are crazy looking tree to plural. They're like huge and ruffled. Very broad. Yeah. Oh that yeah, and still cam you can see the cut. That seems like the polyopagon is growing. Around. Around. Yeah. Who will win? <laughs> Check back in 50 well, years. Well, one's dying. Well, they're both, they both have some uh, dead tissue, it looks like. That's true. What, are, what, if, what if they're like, they're friends? I know, that's what I was just thinking. What if they're buddies? No. What if one is the other's pet? <laughs> All right, it's it is. It's a duel. It's early. 3.36 in the morning, is it not? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I think Leland's fed up with us. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, man, okay, if we don't take ourselves seriously, down. nobody else will. <laughs> yeah, wait, what if they just never show up to relieve us from watch and we're here forever? <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, Steve's That's been up nightmare. for like 50 minutes waiting for it. That's true. <laughs> 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 His <that> moment. <laughs> Steve is like, why are we you looking at the sponge? It's going to be like a reoccurring dream. I don't know if it's dream. an amphipod or, or not. Um, yeah, an amphipod. We did get a question earlier about whether or not the white sponge was dead. And I think we talked about that on a previous watch, that it doesn't mean that they're bleached if they're white like that. Oh, right. no. they Yeah, they don't have... Um, the coral, both, Neither the corals nor the sponges down here have pigmented plant-like symbionts that give them color so their being white Bridge is now. not a response to losing those symbionts like in shallow water when you see a normally colorful coral become white it's actually healthy if they are white right yeah unless it's a coral which can be various shades right and there are those um bridge nav mm -hmm. pylon sponges again we have a teacher from North Carolina One watching the students. East, please. Good morning, North Carolina. Good morning. And it's Hi saying, students. what is the big white shape um, sponges? So I think it's the polyopagons yeah. that we're seeing. Yep. Those are polyopagon sponges. They are glass sponges, so they're not as soft and squishy as they look. But out of the glass sponges, they're on the squishier end. They, it's like, you can crunch them down and squeeze them in your hand and water comes out and they don't break but uh, it's kind of like a spiky sponge. So on a one to five squishy scale, what would you give them? One being not squishy. One being not squishy. Uh, they're probably like a 3.5. Okay. 
Michael, I think we missed our opportunity for that last, the, the sponges that were friends. We got a chat that says, Q, lean on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, Osako. That would have been perfect. What are we doing? I know. Thanks for zooming opportunistically as we pass by things. A lot less coral here. Oh, well, there's a crinoid. Uh, I no, think it's a brazingid. I get yeah. those confused sometimes. Right. I do too. They're hard to tell apart from afar. I think it's the color. These are Bridge beefier. Now. Actually, I don't know if we've seen a red hold crinoid that's it's not stopped. Thank you. We have not, no. This Brazinja lost an arm. Good thing it can grow it back. In this economy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, that's like my go-to joke. <laughs> It's rare that we get giggles from the front row. Yeah, like, there's like three things that I go to. It's like, no matter what the topic, it's like, what? In this economy? And what are you doing? We're in a drought. Is that, is that a barnacle a little further next to the one of the oh, arms? Oh, look at the tiny red, uh, white sea star. Oh, yeah. Um, I see what you're looking at. I don't know. What is this fairy setup? Oh, my goodness. That it, sea star is adorable. There, it looks like there's... There are sponges, smaller sponges, starting to grow off this dead star. Oh, uh, look at that chilling yeah, star. It's almost like that kind that we saw <laughs> on the ridges. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might get the itty bitty voice. The little sea star. So cute. If only we could slurp you, buddy. <laughs> and could we actually zoom close on the white things? The, uh, sorry, the like white ten tenderly branchy, these, those. It's, f it's full zoom. Oh, that's full zoom. Okay. Yeah. They almost look like bryozoans. Which. <sighs> Maybe. Question in the chat if we're looking for squat lobsters, and I think the answer is always. <laughs> yeah. Eyes always peeled. Uh, let's see. Uh, Interesting. I, I can't see the thingy, so I don't know. Oh, that looks like a Tricolos chrysoborgia at the end there. Okay. Or on the right. I wish we had a geologist on this watch. <laughs> We've seen so many geo features. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. It would know, be nice to hear someone waving their hands in the air. Like Over they just how don't care. What's that pink thing there? Is that a ton of Oh, it's a, or no, a crab. it's a lithodid. Yeah, could we look at that pink crab quick? Down below. Uh, out of frame. Yeah. Uh, where'd you go? Cotton eye Joe. There it there is. There it is. So these were the types of crabs that I think were yeah. on the wood fall earlier. Oh, it's a tiny little crab in the foreground as well. Uh -huh. Is it like a squat? squat? It's a king crab. It's a, a lithodid, crab. lithodid crab. Watch the camera. We really haven't seen much in the way of crabs until this dive. Yeah. Besides squats. Yeah. 
de subir para Curia. What was that? Oh, I got flipped around. I, I didn't think we were moving that way. Yeah, that's the first crab I've seen that's not a tiny little squat lobster kind of thing. Yeah, you're going to have to move. I'm still swinging, right? You're going to have yeah, to move. Yeah, we can move on. Paralomus. A fish. Oh yes. Oh yeah. I can't tell that that's it. Look, oh, it has an isopod parasite. I can't tell if that's Kumba or Nazumia, but it's a it's a rat tail. Um, let's see. I didn't realize I was going to be tested on my sponge knowledge today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many sponges. I think it was Kumba. Kumba. Yeah. Azumia has like a really, it's like the head narrows, yeah. it's big head and then the tail gets really narrow. And it's interesting the sponge attaching the stalk of other sponges. Yeah. I, usually the polyopicons aren't wrapping around stuff as much as these have been today. Seems like the slope is becoming steeper. Yeah. Or we're going up another one of these crazy ridge features, up and over. Wow. Look at the big sponge. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What do we have up here? We have a question in the yeah. chat. Do you know what kind of rock feature this is? I don't Could know what describe it this. Bit. No. I feel like you come up with lots of go-to names for stuff like this in yeah. dive reports. So like wall, pinnacle. It's hard uh, to describe, isn't it? Pinnacle seems reasonable. Oh, there goes our brittle star. James <laughs> is like, zoom. <laughs> zoom. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Fell hard. All right. All steam ascent. We have a chat tuning in for the first time. How crazy is it that you might be some of the first people to see these areas at the ocean floor? Pretty amazing. Yeah. I think we it is amazing. Uh, we are the first people are. and probably the definitely the only people <laughs> that will ever see this. Along with all of first the hand. folks watching. Along with everyone watching. <laughs> yeah. This is really sweet. You guys are making my morning just a little more bearable. Hope you get some sleep and food. Oh, soon. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Hope you have a good morning. Mm. It's interesting how little the assemblage, except for the, the weird roughly ureted or resolid sponges, the assemblage itself has been kind of the same the whole dive, just 
varying densities. Yeah, uh, I was just noting though that the corals seem to have dropped off besides the yeah, Chrysogorgias. Yeah, the corals have dropped off. There, we had moments of a lot more primnoid and bamboo action. Still and seeing a lot of Chrysogorgias. Right, that's a good note to put in there. So does this kind of end here then? Oh, no, there's more down there. Oh yeah, another wall. There's a skyscraper hopping here. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, we have a question in the chat. What are you exploring right now? So we are on an elongated guillot extending from the northwestern edge of Johnston Atoll. Yeah, so this is the closest within the Johnston area of the um, Marine National Mon Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument that we've uh, been in yet, the closest to actually Johnston Atoll itself. Um, we're about 20 miles away from it right oh, now. I just turned. And there have been a decent few dives near Johnston Atoll itself, but we're in a previously oh, I just unexplored turned, by the area. Way. That's and that's uh, uh, not to the north. On, we were in areas of the. I think we're good. I think we're clear to the north. Monument that had not been well explored before, where there are a lot fewer dives. Because I am facing east. Look at all those dead sponges. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to scoot around this and stay around about the same uh, uh, same depth, or do you want to continue up the slope? I think let's continue up the slope. Okay. Uh, east. It's looking like, at least for now, this kind of guides us there. Okay. It's an upside down sponge over there. Okay, so Pilots, are you okay to step east? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bridge now. As long as we stay like this, I think we should be fine. Yeah. Two zero meters east, please. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's only our problem for eight more minutes. I was going to say, judging five more by minutes, how so many dead sponges there are here, I would wager there's a lot above us, too. Every time I close my this looks like just like dead sponges shrimp. have tumbled down from oh, whatever is, what is that? in yeah. front of and above us. A sponge graveyard. Yeah. What's this? Oh, never mind. Oh. <coughs> oh, that was weird. You okay up there? <laughs> yeah, that Sorry. was weird. I just. <laughs> Were you clearing out your throat for your singing voice? For your Mongolian throat singing? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was prepping. <laughs> but now you're not going to hear it because it was going to be a surprise. Yeah. We have something in the chat says, yes, finally caught a live dive. Is there a dive notification system? And the answer is yes. We put all of our dive alerts on Instagram and um, X formerly Twitter. And we also put an update on our Nautilus Live website um, yeah, where yeah. we are and when we'll be diving. Please likey and subscribey. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Is that what you're going to say on your YouTube channel? <laughs> Please likey me. <laughs> Is that an urchin on the end there? Or a crinoid? That's a crinoid. Oh, bamboo or no, a but there is something Is that a primnoid below it? Do you guys see the I coral colony below? Yeah. yeah. I think there is a barnacle there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It has alternating polyps. Looks more bamboo-y to me. It's not primnoid. Ah. On the very edge. Look at that sponge. I got nice shots in the dry clubs. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Steve is here. Excellent. All right. Gonna. And we are preparing for a watch change. One of my favorite times when we get to update the next crew. What's going on? So. Thank you for listening. I'm going to hand it over to Brittany, our science communication fellow. What a way to start the watch. We've been looking for columnar basalt for days. For days. It's here. It's amazing. Good Mary morning. <laughs> we have Nick back here singing. This is great. <laughs> What's he singing? He's not on a microphone yet, but he's singing. <laughs> Because of columnar basalt? I'm assuming. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, good morning, four to eight. 
Good morning. Good morning. Hey, was that it for the whistle? Wow, look at so many sponges. Is that it for the columns? That might have been it. There sure is. Gosh, beautiful imagery so far. Mm -hmm. We're already. Um, yeah, so good morning. This is the wow. 4 to 8 crew taken over for the 12 to 4 oh crew. Wait, is that all one sponge? Oh, boy. <gasps> what is going on? Uh, no, the ship has stopped. Can you drop a target here and say, um, sure. big... Oh, my God. That over for you. Oh, Monster my sponge? goodness. Big sponge? Uh, big sponge. We're going to need a better word than big sponge. Uh, we're going to need ginormous sponge. Gin okay. <laughs> yeah. Massive. Yeah. This is a, I think they took a sample of this down a little bit deeper. Um, but this is actually a sponge that's known to grow this large. They actually found one that was bigger uh, a few years ago on the Okinawa's uh, Explorer uh, that was bigger than the ROV itself. And I think this is probably a good rival for it. Wow. Is, I mean, is this one sponge connected by some dead tissue in the middle? See. Uh, yeah, I mean, it could be live. You know, they, they, okay. they may be disjointed thrown through de dead tissue, but then form two separate colonies, so to speak. It does look like it's connected. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Pretty cool. Wow. Cool. Yeah, it's really neat. It's almost as big as Herc. It kind of is as big as Herc. Yeah, Herc. I would say... Yeah, can we spend a, a couple of minutes here just imaging this? And I think yeah. it would be really cool to do some pirouettes around this because I have a feeling it would be a really good candidate for... Um, uh, what's it called? Photogrammetry? Yes, that. Video, can you go wide on Argus for me? Yes, I can. I'll end up using that. Yep. Um, we're sort of at the top of the cliffs, so we'll have some time and be able to let her get a little bit behind. And the ship has stopped, so. Uh, yeah, and the ship has stopped. And also, are you Can we go lasers off, too, when you get a chance? Are you planning to do your photogrammetry with the still cam? Or with no, the we're just going to just do some, like, pirouettes around it. Um, just, you know, just simple driving around Wait. with the lasers off so that okay. um, we can get some good... Uh, imagery of it, and then they can reconstruct the photogrammetry from the Herc Zeus, from the Zeus uh, okay. video. Yep. It just keeps going. Wow. So, what species sponges this to? That's a good question. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but um, a big one. We can wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big yeah. sponge. As big as it seems like it is. <laughs> I'll get there. Biggest I, I first want to acknowledge my, my colleagues in the 12 to 4 watch for setting us up for this great opportunity. Yeah, it's amazing. Because <laughs> uh, this, I think, might rival the size of the previous sponge that was seen on the Okinawa Explorer a few years ago, years oh. ago uh, in height and width, breadth. That's it's pretty extraordinary. Yeah, they set us up for a clone of assault and then. Yeah. <laughs> this incredible sponge. Well, when it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> That's right. All right, Lophocalyx nice. is the genus name, thanks to Sako. Um, and the, the large sponge that I mentioned previously was found in the Musician Seamount, so north of Hawaii, um, by a pretty significant ways. Can you zoom out on high pack when you have a moment? Sure. Amazing. Yeah, so you can see Herc in, the ch in yep. Channel 2, and I would say that this this sponge is bigger than Hercules is, based on what we're seeing there. Looks like a great spot, spot to be a sponge too, like right on the edge of this cliff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good water flow. Is there much current? Are you What's much? that? Are you feeling much current? Not really. No. Okay, so um, we're at, we've got, between us and the end of the dive, we've got the knife's edge um, around uh, leading up to waypoint four. So I think we'll take it slow. We don't have a particular rush. Uh, we want to try and aim to get to um, Kieran, can you keep an eye around on waypoint tether four by around make eight sure I'm not in the morning. I'm not risking dragging I think the that should be doable. 
I don't think so. But when I look in, when I look in the Atalanta camera, sometimes I wonder. If we can't go all the way around Pirouette, we can do, um, you know, just like the front side of it, I guess. I think we can. Okay. Kind of looks like we can. Yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, squat lobsters. Let's not zoom for, let's get a full full rotation around it, and then maybe we'll do some poking as to see what kind of animals are living inside. There's a lot of animals living on the back side. Yeah. 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 So questions coming in, how big is Hercules, the ROV that we're using? Excellent question. Um, I like to say that, he, that it's about the size of a USPS mail truck. So a lot bigger than um, most people would think. But yeah, standing next to Hercules, it's quite a large vehicle. Now, what's the distance between uh, about where we are and waypoint four? to average about 315 meters per hour if we want to get there by the end of our watch, which is ambitious, but... Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, um, you know, there's there's no particular urgency, and um, whenever the 8 to 12 watch comes on board, they can, they're, they're interested in lateraling, uh, Rob specifically is interested in lateraling along the contours to the northeast to look and see if there's potential carbonate uh, material in this large uh, slope failure. So, um, I think we set us, or the last watch set us up for a very nice, uh, very nice dive on this knife's edge. And it's been the most interesting part of the dive for me to see what kind of is living on this steep cliff where you have uh, drop-offs. You know, maybe less than a hundred meter width drop-offs to the north. Uh, North and south. Great job with the, the imagery. We'll finish the full circle and then uh, maybe poke around a little bit. The last watch did zoom on many of these Munidopsis squat lobsters that lived in uh, some of these um, sponges, and I think they've been seen before. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> and then to think that that section in the middle at one point was, you know, it probably was connected. At least it looks like it was. Looks like one of those Sharpe dogs. Sharpe dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so true. Can't unsee it. That's amazing. I think that's a wrap, Steve. 